Hello, my name is uh, Miley Stanzleit and I'm an ESC volunteer in Romania, in Trans Transylvania to be precise. I'm here in Mercuriatro in uh, Chicxulub and I came here in February 2021 and I will be leaving in August. Um, so it's a six months project and uh, the title of the project is uh, Teach English to Non-Formal Activities in Villages. So the target group are children uh, aged between 7 and 15 years uh, from different backgrounds. So we teach children from the main town Chiksalada but also uh, from villages around town. So ESC is a European uh, initiative and it stands for European Solidarity Corps. Uh, it has been on for several years now. For the program of 2021 until 2027, it um, targets to become even uh, bigger and to increase the particip participation of uh, more uh, members. The main focus will be on to become more greener, to include more people um, and to develop even better skills on a digital level because of the advancement of technology and um, the quick changes that we are uh, in now and we are all facing uh, major changes so we have to adapt and to uh, adjust quickly and efficiently. The different activities uh, fields that are covered by the European Solidarity Corps are um, creativity, culture but also education, training, employment entrepreneurship, environment, um, natural protection, health, well-being, physical education, sports and working with different targets group, targets group uh, such as refugees or mi mi migrants, social challenges and disaster prevention and recovery. So as you can Imagine uh, the European Solidarity Corps uh, cover a lot of topics and that way that makes it even uh, more um, strong as an initiative and it should be, um, be advocated on a large level so more people can get involved and become a European Solidarity Corps for a period of time. What is also important to mention is that you have the uh, possibility to uh, participate for a longer project up to 12 months and a shorter project which is up to several weeks or six months. You have to register at the portal of the European Solidarity Corps. You sign in, uh, you fill out the form, and then the associations that are already registered in the portal will contact you. So you will get an um, offer, and then you have the choice to accept it or refuse it. So you can set your interests on the portal. So for instance, I was very eager to learn more about um, the informal learning method. So I'm really happy the Care to Travel Association contacted me to uh, propose the project that involves this kind of learning method with children. So the Corps Européen de Solidarité en français, um, it is it is nice to insist on the fact that you have to um, be aware of the values and the principles of this kind of initiative because it 
um, demands a lot of energy and time for the hosting organization to organize your stay. So be mindful about that and respect the fray and try to um, give your, your best during uh, your stay. Try to be less as less uh, judgmental as you can be and be uh, kind and tolerant towards uh, your surroundings and your colleagues but also uh, the hosting organization. I will just quote something I really uh, find important to mention here and I take this opportunity to do it. So I will talk about, uh, I will take the words from Maria Gabriel commissaire à l'innovation, la recherche, la culture, l'éducation et la jeunesse. And she says that we should all be reminded to uh, solidarity as a value and as a principle between citizens and this uh, pandemic and the time we all face now. Um, increase the fact that we are stronger together. Several uh, tasks will be attributed to you as a volunteer. So for instance, in my case, I got the task to be responsible for the uh, activity booklet. So it will be a booklet that contains all the activities we have uh, tested and played with the children. So we are um, working we have worked with children um, from 7 to 15 years old from different uh, social backgrounds and all the activities included the method of informal learning and all those activities are rebooted in that specific booklet that I was uh, responsible to um, On the other hand, the hosting organization has several obligations towards you. So you will get free food allowance, free accommodation. You will also get um, pocket money and you will get a health insurance. I will talk about the youth pass now. So the youth pass is a certificate you will get at the end of your project and it recruits eight key competencies from multilingual competencies um, to citizenship competencies, digital competencies, uh, cultural awareness and expressions, just to name a few, and then as well mathematical, mathematical competencies um, that you can increase during your, your project. You have to know that you will fill out on your own the certificate and the association or the project uh, will give you the legal document uh, to attest that you participate uh, during uh, a certain time uh, on the project. For me personally, I uh, would say that I increased a lot in the cultural awareness as well as the multilingual competencies uh, through the many Hungarian and Romanian classes we had the opportunity um, to uh, learn uh, about Hungary and Romania. Yo napol kivano. Uh, I will now talk about care to travel care to travel is uh, the hosting organization in Mercuriach um, in Chicxulub. Uh, you have to know that they work with several um, domains from agriculture to animal care to education and um, working with verbal um, groups and they come across different needs from the community and they work um, very closely with locals so care to travel uh, makes 
makes it possible to connect different volunteers uh, from different borders, uh, from dif different nationalities, to work together on several projects and uh, to increase positive change and citizenship that allows uh, togetherness and uh, kindness. I will now talk about my personal experience of my project. So this project was really um, uh, moving because uh, you work with children so you have to um, be aware of the energy you put in the activities you propose to the children so they have to learn a language they are not used to hear or speak so you have the role to propose games that are fun but also include a learning part so you have to balance things out and uh, sometimes it can be challenging but it's really rewarding and I really like the time here Despite uh, the project, I had uh, an amazing opportunity to uh, travel during pandemic and through the entire project during my free days. So that's another uh, aspect you should be aware of. You really get free days during your project. And mine were up to 12 days. I took mine and I traveled a lot. I took the, the train and I just discovered the very beautiful region of Transylvania. I met a, a lot of uh, very friendly people and they were very welcoming so I am very grateful for that. I will just say thank you uh, to care to travel for um, letting me part of this um, amazing opportunity it was really um, moving and rich as an experience that will stick with me uh, forever. I will also say also thank you um, my colleagues uh, Bowie, Boris and Tone which were very uh, wonderful and I learned a lot from them. And I will also mention the nice roommates I had at the accommodation. I really want to thank all the locals I met. I will also uh, thank my family uh, for the support. I will also thank the Sandin organization Service Volontaire uh, International de Belgique that uh, made this possible. I will thank the European Commission to organize all of it and to be the suckler of all and I will also take this opportunity to say hello et des gros bisous à mes amis Athena et Myrlène du Luxembourg. Coucou, je vous embrasse très fort. <laughs>